All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday morning. It's about 10, 16 a.m. California time. August 26, 2025 is the date here. Uh, latest activity here on the globe shows a 2.8 earthquake. Uh, looks like across the, uh, well, a two-pointer coming into California right now. One of the latest quakes on the globe. We'll check this out here in just a minute. want to cover space weather activity here real quick. Where we do have a number of active sunspots here on the eastern limb starting to uh, really crank up the flares here in the last couple days with a number of m flares looks like we're getting close to seeing uh almost consistent sizzling there in the m flare department uh, from these active areas out here on the eastern limb we'll take a look here at the latest magnetogram image which is uh put out today a very active source here for flaring back over here across the southeastern quadrant of the sun also, we got this region right here, pretty much center of the uh, equator area of the sun. That uh, in position like that could be uh, very geo-effective should it continue to blast off uh, decent flares once it's in more of a uh, appropriate, appropriate position here in terms of Earth direction. Uh, also, this area here is starting to get a little bit more complexity here. I'm noticing some filling in within that center portion of the core indicating magnetic structure complexity. So we have three massive areas here we have to watch uh, for some stronger flaring this week. Uh, overall flare threat has been bumped up to about 55% chance for an M flare, 10% for X flare. And we are still getting bombarded here with some protons. Uh, over the last couple days, this has been uh, quite elevated due to the uh, flaring activity and the uh, CME uh, movement here a couple days ago, mainly affecting the higher uh, northern polar region out there no major roars there in the forecast for now but again that could change should uh, we get a earth directed cme either way i think we're going to see some activity soon all right earthquake activity let's go ahead and check this out real quick there's that two pointer coming in on the globe now on the map out in the nevada area uh, not a big earthquake whatsoever anything above 2.5 nothing Nothing across the West Coast for 2.5 and above. Uh, mainly small microquake activity out here today. It's been a little unusually quiet across California here in the last three to four days. Uh, just continue to watch that. Northern California, nothing showing up there on the map. Across the Washington area, got uh, a couple earthquakes around Mount St. Helens and uh, I'm sure around Mount Rainier. So let's go see what's going on here across the area of the uh, Cascades Volcanoes today. Check out Mount Rainier real quick and uh, see if there's anything popping up far as earthquakes go. Uh, still seeing what looks like a little bit of earthquake activity here on the map. This looks a little bit different than last night here where these were more drawn out and thicker lines. I don't know what was going on with it. They did something with the amplitudes, but uh, today still kind of looks like we're seeing some earthquake activity. Nothing big, no major increase, but for sure that's got to be an earthquake locally. A couple of them in there. Uh, we'll go check out the Mount St. Helens real quick. Let's see if there's anything popping up on there either. Maybe. Uh, yesterday there was a couple smaller earthquakes in this area. Uh, so here's Mount St. Helens. Some of that earthquake activity there from yesterday afternoon starting to uh, disappear off the graph. Since then, uh, I don't see any more earthquake activity, of course, of that size. And those weren't even really big quakes. They looked like they were in the uh, low one range across the Mount St. Helens area. So nothing big going on there for now. Cascadia subduction zone remains solid for now. Yellowstone National Park, a couple smaller earthquakes from today. Uh, let's go check out Yellowstone here real quick. See if there's anything of a uh, noteworthy mentioning. Here's the latest seismograph station. Still seeing a couple smaller earthquakes out here in the last 24 hours. Nothing big. Um, some of these are over west of the seismograph station around the Hebgen Lake area. That uh, is some very small earthquake activity, though. No major swarms. No, no uh, unusual activity there to note for now. Uh, Texas and Oklahoma still seeing some earthquake activity. Really nothing changing out there. Uh, one earthquake there from yesterday in the uh, South Carolina area. Pretty quiet here across the eastern portion of the country. I guess we had this one in Maine off the coast there uh, early this morning after midnight my time. That's 2.5. But uh, for the most part, North American uh, 
plate looks pretty quiet up here for now. Uh, the Aleutian Trench, a little earthquake activity this morning with a 5.1. That's uh, where that seven-pointer struck here a number of weeks back. Still seeing some aftershock sequences here around the Russia area. Let's take a look here at the globe and see if there's anything uh, changing. Looks like we had a five-pointer down there across the uh, Middle America Trench. Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Uh, fairly active out here across this area of the globe here today. All across the Mediterranean and uh, whatnot. I am going to bring these down just a little bit because I think I think that time on there is a little bit more elevated than what it should be. There's a deeper quake there from yesterday, 5.6. That uh, afternoon time period. So yeah, it's definitely uh, getting some further earthquake activity out here. Nothing big, just a little more active than normal out across the Mediterranean towards the Middle East area as well. Uh, crunch, the typical crunch zone down here across the Indonesia area, still seeing some earthquake activity. Nothing big there for now. New Zealand uh, 3.4, North Island region that looks like. Let's see what we got here for the largest earthquake here in the last 24 hours. That goes to a uh, 5.6 from yesterday. So far after midnight, it looks like it's going to be that 5.1 there across the uh, Lucian Trench. Uh, really just minor earthquake activity here today and in the last 24 hours. Really nothing a big uh, movement. Let's go check out Hawaii real quick, see if there's anything uh, changing out there with the inflation data so this here is from the uh, usgs model and looking at the uh well that'll work i guess i thought i clicked on the link for kilaway volcano but uh this will work as well I'm waiting on episode 32 got a little leveling out it looks like here in the last day or so um little out of the ordinary in terms of the last 31 episodes of eruptions there across the Kilauea volcano at the Big Island of Hawaii. It's a little odd. I don't uh, recall seeing that type of deviation there off the graph uh, in any of the other models here. So it will be interesting to watch, see what happens here. I, this can't go on forever and ever, I don't think. You know, 31 episodes since, since December, and you can see them quite nicely here on the graph. Um, hard to say if this is going to continue for a little bit or may come to an end and we'll see some other activity somewhere else, but we'll continue to check back on that. Uh, a look at the Storm Prediction Center today far as severe weather goes. Not a whole lot of severe weather. Nothing for tornado, wind, or hail damage out there. Uh, we do have some thunderstorm activity. In fact, I heard some lightning out here around my neck of the woods this morning. Kind of nice to wake up to uh, some thunder. Didn't see any lightning, but I did hear the thunder, the result of it. Um, just uh, looks like some monsoonal moisture funneling in across the west, uh, mainly inland, across the Four Corners area. But we do have some decent chances out here across California as well. Uh, aside from that, folks, uh, let's check out any close approach asteroids here to the planet. Kind of a quiet day. I mean, I guess quiet's good for a Tuesday. No major rocks headed this way even the smaller ones out there millions of miles away so we're safe in that department for now seismograph stations out there another aftershock there on the russia station but uh looks looks pretty quiet out here all right have yourself a wonderful tuesday we'll see you guys out here later for the uh, tuesday evening update have a good one